Hey guys, Joe Pye here at Advanced Innovations in Austin, Texas. Just figured I would touch off on something here that I recently completed. The cone pulley, these cone pulleys are nearly identical uh, in size to the ones used on the engine lathe, the drill press, and probably the shaper and the mill. So it would be redundant to make a video covering the production of this. Again, somewhere up here, I would have to think at this point, there's going to be a box for a link that you can click on and go and see exactly how this was done step by step but let me show you the additions that i made to the top end of this particular mill for reasons unknown this model only calls out for one shim right here steel and there's a gap in the back right here i don't know why they did that but they did that well not good enough i positioned my cone pulley exactly in the center of those two standoffs I made brass collars and on either side of the brass collar, if we can get that in focus. There is a Cellcon friction washer on either side of the brass. So there are no rotational surfaces that are going to touch as this spins. There will be rotation going on inside the casting, but there's not going to be any face to face. No face-to-face -face on this one. Anyway, the easiest way to describe how this is done, that right there starts off as something looking like this. I file the back off. I press it up against an arbor in the collet. Drive it with a live center and turn a location diameter on it. Flip it around, remove this, which just happens to be the same diameter as this. Coincidence? Nope. Back in the collet, face it off, bore it, ream it, whatever you need to do to size the hole. I drill and ream, and then I turn the diameter on here so I know when I flip it around and put it on yet another arbor, this one here, and pressure turn it once again. I can check the tracking diameter to make sure that the ODs that I'm turning on there now are concentric with the ID that I cannot see. Good idea. Once these things are all turned, it is then crowned, and then it is held in a later date right here, and it's faced off to length. Not a big deal. Go see that video link. I'll put a link in the description as well, and you can actually watch these being made. But I figured I would touch off on the contribution and the modification that I made to the top end. I hope this wasn't too disappointingly short for you. Three minutes, but there's a fat one coming out on Saturday, so come back around and watch the completion of the table. And it came out nice. I think you'll like it. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you're well, happy, and safe. All of the above. I'm Joe Pye, Advanced Innovations, Austin, Texas. I'm out. Hey guys, Joe Pye here at Advanced Innovations in Austin, Texas. Welcome back to the shop. Going to give you a little midweek quickie. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Enough said, right?